What the f is that? Do you see that? Come here. Look over here. That's the that? worm. What did you do? That was you. How many likes would it take for you to do another 100 days? An astronomical amount of likes, like 15k or something, then like, I'll, 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 I'll do another one, I guess. I'm hoping we don't get it too. Oh, we won't. Hey! No you hit that many likes. Like, I, I don't have time for this. They're, they're like, how did you hit 20k likes? Like, did you buy likes or something? <laughs> I didn't buy likes, bro. People just like the video. YouTube algorithm, right, you know, goes. You, you play a game where you drive a boat. What does that have to do with a logging sim with with zombies? Like, what does that have to do with any of that? How did you get 20k likes? <laughs> it, it, it's, like, it's well over 20k likes. You set right, the right. like goal. You set the like goal. It's not, I, it's I not only I did, that's you. But I, I did not expect us to hit it. it like, it, how did you hit that? You're supposed to be a supportive. For what do you mean you didn't expect me to right. hit it? Why'd you set it then? Please, you have to uh, believe in me. I'm a YouTube. Believe in what I can do. Please don't make me do this, man. Please, no. I I, I can't You're do this. It. Man. You are doing it. The if, people if in the I comments have to watch you. Down one more fucking tree. I'm gonna lose my. Toast was obviously very excited for these 200 days, so we're not gonna waste too much time. Big shout out, of course, to Mad Toaster Waffles for doing these 200 days with me. Not like he really had much of a choice, but you know. Be sure to give his YouTube and Twitch a follow in the description below, I would appreciate that. You can also find my Twitch and my Discord down there. I'm planning to stream the next 100 days that I do, so feel free to follow those or join those if you want. Before we get started, let's give a bit of a quick recap of where we are. We just finished the endgame deciding to kill our son because we didn't know who was the father, or the mother actually, now that I think about it, so yeah, he didn't mean too much to us. Anyways, we then went over to the yacht, picked up a key card, opened up this secret vault, and definitely did not not duplicate it so we could each get our hands on one of these sacred balls. And now that you're all caught up, let's exit this cave and officially begin our playthrough on day 100 and- Haha, <laughs> you thought. Uh-uh. I'm not letting you through until you see my shitty intro. So I'm gonna roll that cringy intro, shitty intro, whatever you wanna call it, and then we'll actually begin 200 days survived in the forest hard survival. Exiting the cave on the morning of day 101, I need to address something right away. A lot of people on my previous video were roasting the shit out of me actually in the comments for how I say the word the, because sometimes I say it as the, and how I overemphasize it a lot. So I will try to do better. With that being said, the morning of day 101, the first thing me and Toast did was fly back to our base. At this point, we were trying to relearn the controls as it had been quite a while since we had played this game last and we were still a bit shell-shocked and didn't know what to do. Thankfully, we were bright and we had plenty of plans. Dude, we did this in a hundred days, like... Yeah. What are we gonna do in another hundred? <laughs> I have no clue. <laughs> this is bad. Alright, we'll figure something out. After that brainstorming session, we went down to the nearby beach, built a large raft, and started turning it into a mobile deforestation unit, as we had some plans for things out in the ocean. By the end of the day, part of the raft was done, and we slept together for the first time in months. Day 102, I jam-packed as many log holders as I could on the raft, and then took my log cart around to start collecting sticks. Are you kidding me? What? So yeah, that almost happened. It would have actually been funny if I did die on day 102, but I didn't. Me and Toast then spent the rest of the day collecting sticks and having a deeper discussion about the true lore of the forest. Uh, instead we made a battleship to go and uh colonize new lands <laughs> we're just role-playing england at this point <laughs> <laughs> that's actually kind of funny <laughs> we're role-playing england <laughs> we're gonna tree sim this is england simulator <laughs> can we make tea is that a thing <laughs> it was then obviously bedtime 
day 103, we were reintroduced to our neighbors, and we tried to use our new glowing balls to our advantage. It did not work well. Um, let's, can we let's, paddle away a yes, little bit? Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> left, 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 right stick, right stick, right stick. No! Oh, fuck! <laughs> oh, no, 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 no! Oh my god, what's going on? Backwards! <laughs> it won't let me, I'm looking at the water! <laughs> Reverse! <laughs> Reverse! <laughs> The damage done was then repaired, and we ended up running across the boss, who we already beat in the endgame, who now turned into a mutant that roams the island. So that's cool, I guess. By the end of the day, we were ready for a nice peaceful evening, but the evening turned into quite a shit show, and I will let the footage speak for itself. Uh, Toast? What? Come here, now? What? Um... How do you deal with that? Can you snipe these get? Uh, not really. Uh, all right, I'm gonna grab the builder tool. I'm, I'm, I'm doing that. Okay, all right, all right, all right. All right, <laughs> all right stop, stop, stop. Oh, repair it, repair it. Um, 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 um. We couldn't even find peace trying to go to bed. What? What is? What is that? Why yeah. do I hear boss music? Well, repair? Oh fuck. We lost the front. The morning of day 104 was spent repairing all the damage done on day 103, but we were also visited by another swarm that we had to deal with that day. The evening was spent flying around scouting different islands trying to find one we wanted to build on. Day 105, we were back to Toast's favorite activity, logging. Today we placed down the blue beacon because we wanted some peace, and then we started filling up our recently commissioned mobile deforestation unit. Near the end of the day, the log cart did this pretty epic flip. Then we dealt with another cannibal in our foundation, though now we were kind of professionals at dealing with this situation. And then we went to bed. Day 106 was spent finishing, filling the log boat, and starting to add some decorations to it. This carried right on over into day 107, where we finished the decorations and then spent an unhealthy amount of time, I would say, trying to load the log sleds onto our log boat. The rest of day 107 was spent rowing on over to the island we had selected, and then placing down the foundation. Construction began the morning of day 108, followed shortly thereafter by me being framed by a turtle. A oh, fuck turtle! Yeah, that was a turtle. <laughs> the turtle pushed it out, yeah, 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 sure. No, I swear. All right. Whatever you say, boss. Dude, I'm telling you it's a turtle. I, I know you're telling me that it's a turtle, just I don't believe you. <laughs> Once the mobile deforestation unit was empty, we realized we could hold 314 logs per run. Toast and I then rode to the nearest shore, planted our blue spike, and began refilling the boat. As we were continuing to fill up our mobile deforestation unit on the morning of day 109, Toast had a very important question. Wait, so what are we doing with this again? I don't know. <laughs> Just a base to have another base. Well, I think this is going to be our vacation home. So I think this is more right. <laughs> this is what we did last time. The vacation home, like, in the little pond, remember? That's the a cottage. cottage. Oh, okay, all right. Not a vacation home. That's no, not the same thing. <laughs> no, they're very different, all right? All right. We got to come up with unique ideas. <laughs> We're gonna name it something different and do the exact same thing. <laughs> Rather than in a pond, it's inside of the ocean. <laughs> what do you think we should do with this? I'm I'm not sure why we even started this to be honest, but we, we already started, so we gotta finish it, right? So we decided we were gonna finish this foundation out of principle, even though we didn't really know what to do with it, but who knows, maybe one day we'll come up with something. Day 110 began by rowing back out to the foundation and finishing it off. We then climbed on top and marveled at this massive foundation that we didn't know what to do with and were going to promptly ditch. We then headed over to a beach nearby as we wanted to find a location to build a Thunderdome. A giant arena of sorts where we would place a ton of traps and our red balls down, that would attract cannibals, mutants, and just a swarm of enemies to have fun with. 
We tested our theory that this was a hot spot for cannibals by placing our red balls down, and we were correct. <laughs> what the hell? I don't think I took a single hit this entire Be thing. Behind you. Oh, oh! Spoke too soon. Before going to bed, I also had quite a manly encounter with a crocodile. <gasps> hey, a crocodile. Then me and Toast got some shut eye. Day 111 began by placing the blueprints down for the construction of the Thunderdome. The rest of the day was spent actually constructing these blueprints. The morning of day 112, I went into a cave looking for gas and nearly died, so I figured that wasn't a good idea. I also spent part of the day marveling at the terrifying attack animations of the alligator. That alligator's friend came back a little bit later in the day to give me a scare before me and Toast went to bed. Day 113, I had to use my modern axe to help build the Thunderdome because I was completely out of gas while Toast used his chainsaw. Thankfully though, Toast was being very conservative. Yeah. You're wasting gas on a cannibal? I sure am. Oh, I'm out of gas. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? It turned out that our mobile deforestation unit was a pretty good roadblock, though I'm still not sure how I ended up getting covered in blood here. And by the time night fell, me and Toast had nearly completed the Thunderdome. Day 114 consisted of me and Toast heading back to our main base to resupply. We also went on a gas hunt that day, with me finding one gas can and Toast somehow finding five because we had different gas spawn locations. Day 115, we were back at the main compound for a bit, then we flew on over to the Thunderdome getting quite a sexy aerial view if I do say so myself with us then finishing up the traps. We spent the rest of the day building some bonfires and adding finishing touches to the Thunderdome as we are going to finally turn it on tomorrow. Tomorrow came as we planted that red spike on the morning of day 116, waiting for the cannibals to show up. And boy did they. After a long, bloody, and brutal morning that we handled pretty well, I would say we actually probably built the Thunderdome a bit too well because it handled them too efficiently. Toast then tried to get me cancelled. Are you sorting them by color or something? <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm, right. I'm spreading them out. Uh, okay, okay, alright. Whatever, whatever you say, man. Whatever you say. Uh-uh, not today, Toast. We were actually a little bit disappointed at how many enemies spawned. We found out there was a spawn limit on how many would spawn per day, which kind of sucked because we wanted just endless swarms of them. So we ended up heading back to our base to see if that would change anything, but still none spawned. Day 117, we got the swarm that we wanted at our main compound. With six mutants and a shitload of cannibals coming at us from every direction. This was an absolutely brutal attack. I lost four creepy armor in about a second from one mishap, so we knew we had to be careful. But like always, me and Toast managed to successfully defeat the swarm. Like any veteran, we just wanted some peace now, so we decided to embark on a new project, the Mega FU Tower. We found a spot and placed down the foundation for this tower, sleeping extraordinarily peaceful on night 117. Days 118 through 130 were literally all spent building the new FU tower. And I mean every single one of those days. So instead of just showing you the repetitive footage of us slowly climbing and building this giant tower, I'm gonna show you either an interesting conversation or just something interesting in general that happened on each one of these days. Except today, day 118 was boring. Day 119, me and Toast talked about how big we want this tower to be. I want big. Like, I want people to look at it and be like, damn, they're really compensating for something. We have graduated from fuck you towers to overcompensation towers. Is either tower. the mega fuck you tower or the overcompensation tower? No, I, I, I say we graduated, you know? Yeah, yeah. We're past that. Day 120, Toast showed that he is indeed a man of the people. The viewers want a giant tower. We gotta give them a giant tower. <laughs> Day 121, Toast showed that he is an idiot. 
So I've been making bone arrows this whole time, and I just came to the conclusion that it's literally pointless for what I'm doing with them. What do you mean? So I'm, I'm poison tipping all of my arrows, so they, they change into the same thing anyways. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they do. Exact yeah. same thing. Yeah, I've, I've been doing that this entire playthrough. <laughs> Day 122, the intrusive thoughts came through. Yeah, I made that rhyme. Hmm. <laughs> what yeah, did you have to do with that days? The intrusive oh, thoughts are oh, coming I, through. Oh, I died. <laughs> Day 123, Toast and I had an interesting discussion about realism. But realistically, the average person isn't going to be able to carry more than one, more than two logs, right? Realistically? Yeah. Look at the structure of this base. Hey, 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 I don't want to hear Realistically, it. Realistically. That's what I you're don't concerned hear about. It. No, what do you mean you don't want to hear it? You. No, 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 no. You, you I brought don't, that don't up. I want to hear it. You brought up the realistic <laughs> I, 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 I didn't say nothing. Never did. Never have. You, never you have will. You the like, Burj Khalifa over here on stilts <laughs> and you're. <laughs> well, realistically. We also took out some pent up frustration on a group of cannibals later in the day. Day 124, I got a decent view of our progress so far while flying back to the new tower from our main base. Day 125, we placed the old FU tower next to our current tower just for scale, and so we could get an idea of how far up we made it. Day 126, we got to fight the boss again, which at least was a break from the new norm of logging. Day 127, I saw this absolutely beautiful rainbow that brought a single man tear to my eye. Day 128, Toast and I contemplated a life of faith and really doing God's work. Gotta make sure the locals know what's up. I think they do. We kind of removed half their land already and forced churches into their villages. <laughs> yeah. They didn't Actually, destroy the church, fun. though, so they must want it. Yeah, that could be fun. What if we build the church inside of every, uh, fucking thing? Like, every, uh, village. Oh, and our missionary. Yeah, you can go around as missionaries. <laughs> you you want to join for Jesus? No? Bang! What about you? Day 129, I got a pretty good idea of just how much bigger this new tower is than the old tower. I also placed the blueprint for the final finishing touch on this nearly completed tower. Day 130, we finally finished the mega overcompensation, fuck you, for Jesus tower. Shit, now that I say that back, we actually gotta work on that name. <laughs> it's done. The tower's done, alright? We of course had to take a second to admire our work. Now just look around at all of the damage that we did to build this. <laughs> We took down this forest for Jesus, bro. That's why. Oh, yeah. But it's still not taller than a fucking mountain. We're not. I don't- I think that's probably the build limit. <laughs> like... It's probably the build limit, but like, you know. We're not building something taller than the mountain. Uh, I don't know, man. I don't know. No, I do know. Like, I do know. That's, that's like another ten floors, right? No, we're, we're like, not even halfway there. Ah, <laughs> uh, no, nah, no, nah, I think it's like ten floors. I guess this is kind of like Jesus's mega fuck you tower, like. I I guess, but like, think of it this way: Jesus is getting flipped off by that mountain. Oh, sorry. Day one hundred and thirty-one. We had that song stuck in our heads of you know I got murder on my mind, so we went to the Thunderdome to take out twelve days worth of logging aggression on some poor cannibals. It was a good day. Day 132, we decided we really needed to increase our food supplies. Toast started the day by trying to optimize and maximize... How did he put it? The maximum amount of... Bunny humping going on, you know? Yes, yes, we, we do want to maximize the bunny humping capabilities. Exactly. We then spent the rest of the day hunting and gathering some food. One highlight is I found a raccoon, which is the rarest animal in the game, so that was cool. Needed its meat though, so no hard feelings. At night, we couldn't fall asleep for some reason, but Toast actually realized that he left his orb in the Thunderdome, so when we went over there, there was quite a swarm waiting for us, but we would deal with them in the morning. 
Day 133 started by clearing out the remaining swarm at the Thunderdome. We then decided that we wanted to do something with that massive platform we built at the start of the video and never used, so we were going to turn it into a resort of sorts, just for us. An interesting conversation about consumables followed this. I'm out here with, like, enough gas for to feed a small village, you know? You don't feed- what? Hey, man. Time's gotten tough. <laughs> Not that tough. And then, of course, Toast and I slept peacefully that night with Bambi's head. Day 134, I was completely out of gas. I had to find another way to cut down trees efficiently, so I placed down my red spike, brought an armsy over, and let him do the work for me. The problem was, this entire playthrough, that every gas location we went to would be completely full for Toast. He was able to pick up 3, 4, 5 but none would spawn for me for some reason, and gas was extremely rare for me to find. Given that you quote-unquote couldn't give gas to someone else, this was a big problem. Until this moment right now. Yeah, but you could just give me your gas, and you won't do that, so... I, guess... I, I literally can't. <laughs> yes, I'm sure that's... I've, I've uh, tried. I'm sure you Here, You try and give me some gas. I don't have then... fucking gas to give. Ah, oh, that sucks. <laughs> You're well, just, let me combine it. You're stockpiling here. gas, and then you're... Let's see here. Combine. Oh, I can. I just can't combine it the other way. I have to do tray first. Here, take some gas. Are you serious right now? Yeah, here. You have to combine it tray, then gas. So yeah, 134 days, Toast could have been giving me gas this entire time. I then used my gas the rest of the evening. Day 135, we logged. That's it. Day 136, we finished filling the mobile deforestation unit, brought it over to the resort, placed down a dock, some stairs, and the walls for the first floor. And you know that we slept like babies that night. Day 137, we decided to do something we had not done before and stream our playthrough. I am planning to stream my entire 100 days in the Sons of the Forest playthrough when I get around to that, probably after the semester and once I build my new computer, so most likely in April. So feel free to follow my Twitch in the description, just so you can tune in whenever I do stream. Today was mostly spent troubleshooting problems that came up while streaming, as I had never streamed the forest before, so we had to troubleshoot some stuff, but other than that, me and Toast had a really intimate moment near the end of the day. I am inside your rectum right now. Uh, how does it look? Any, uh, any cancer? I um, don't think so. And then we went to bed. D138 started by heading to this nearby village to find gas. I did not find any gas. Toast, on the other hand, found all the gas, as per usual. Later in the day, I missed the worst spear throw of my life. And then I logged, and we called it a night. D139, I had to go help my dad with something, so I was AFK for most of the day while Toast logged, getting that free labor in. When I came back later, I just helped him log. Yeah, that's about it today. Day 140, we finished filling the log cart, rode it on over, and placed the second floor down. And this is where I have to tell you why I stopped streaming the game, because I want you to remember this save right here. Toast and I ended up playing the next few days, designing placing down, getting a baseline idea of how we want this structure, emptying the log cart, and then bringing it back over to start to refill with logs. And then on day 143, while Toast was out doing something, my game crashed. And the last time I saved was the time I told you to remember, which meant that Toast and I had just lost about an hour worth of progress, which really sucked. This was actually the second crash that happened while streaming. The first one was right at the start, and I didn't tell you about it, but with two crashes now, I just didn't want to risk it, didn't want the headache of it, so... Sorry. When I build my new computer, these issues will be fixed. It's just right now I'm playing on a five-year-old potato. Day 141, I rebuilt everything that Toast and I had already built. Placing in an additional staircase. Doing some design of how we want the first floor of this resort. And then I called Toast to let him know what happened. What's up? Hey, nothing. <laughs> now then? What? Chronologically speaking, you're not really gonna miss much. Why? The stream crashed, and my entire computer crashed again. Oh, 
And I... I hadn't slept since day 141. What? <laughs> Why? You saved the lead? So, it, it's about, we lost about a day. Okay, alright. I'm currently well, re I rebuilding those fucking walls. I hit this really nice snipe over water on this cannibal, and then worked through the night to try to catch up on some of the progress that had been lost. Toast returned the morning of day 142, and we immediately had to deal with a worm, so that was great. One of the pieces of the worm turned out to be invincible, and I don't mean that in a figurative sense, I mean that we literally could not kill it and it would not die. So it ended up just kind of becoming a pet you'll see around over the next few days. Toast ended up getting jammed between the dock and the boat, and he could not move, so he asked me to come help. About it. Come on. Oh. I don't, I don't know, that's how fine. Uh, I died. I died. <laughs> Thank God it. Don't Lovely. do that. Don't do that if it's me. Got it. We then called it a night. Day 143, we kept working on the made floor, having to deal with our pet worm who couldn't do no damage and just kind of flopped around all day. We placed down a ton of blueprints underneath this balcony for how we want our drying racks and food storage. And then Toast worked a bit on... Actually, you know what? No, I'm not going to talk about that. Toast just kind of worked in his room laying out plans for the room that we're not going to talk about. Day 144, it was back to our favorite pastime of logging with this nice log launch early in the morning. Later in the day, one of my absolute favorite clips throughout this entire playthrough happened when Mr. Toaster Waffles' girlfriend decided to come in and see the game he was playing. And I gotta admit, out of context, it does look bad. Oh, hey, get over here. What? Don't kill him. No! What are you doing? Jesus no! Christ! Toast. <laughs> Why would you do that? Wait, I'm not done. <laughs> oh my oh god! My god. <laughs> Where'd he go? I'm sorry, Bambi. I'm sorry, Bambi. <laughs> I can't believe you did that! Whoops. Why would you do that? Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll put him with the shark. What <laughs> shark? Toast and I then caught some shut-eye on our trusty boat. Day 145, we finished filling the log boat, rode it on over, finished the balcony as well as a staircase up to it, giving us a somewhat completed starting design of our resort. I forgot to mention that we finished off some basic things in the room we don't talk about, and then we went to bed. Day 146, the only thing I have written down in my notes is where the fuck did these blueprints come from? So, yeah, that's... that's a, about it we just placed blueprints today and tried to rack our brains to make this resort look as sexy as possible day 147 we constructed a balcony that toast immediately jumped off and killed himself on oh yeah our pet worm is now underneath the foundation by the way then we looked at some questionable architectural choices made by the builder in this game okay so you can take that method oh jesus what this isn't even attached yeah, I didn't want to point it out. Toast then died not once, but two more times, and we went to bed. Day 148, we logged all day and night, which is boring, so I'll just give you this conversation that happened at the end of the night as some form of entertainment. Dude, this guy's one arm has so much strength in it, like... Oh, yeah. Carrying a chainsaw, like, fucking... Definitely jerks off with the one arm. Yes, 100%. Didn't think about it that way ever before, actually. No, I, the only way I'm gonna think about it. Oh yeah. Thought, the guy you know, maybe just goes he's home at night and then rips it off. Day 149, we wanted to finish filling the log boat. I had this weird interaction with a tree earlier in the day that was stuck in a rock, but you know what they say? Don't question it. Later in the night, after the log boat was filled up, we actually got stuck in a small island trying to row back to our base. And the one time we actually needed to push the raft, it wouldn't let us, and it took quite a while, so that was a pain in the ass. But after that, we fell asleep peacefully on the waves. Day 150 was a very memorable day, to say the least. Wait, we're in the, we're in the lines, right? Yeah, yeah. No, we definitely did not park within the lines. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 we're good, we're good. We're no, good. we're not. Oh yeah, toast. Yep. It's, uh, it's day 150. Wow. More logging. <laughs> Who would have thunk it? 
Yeah. We're halfway there, though, so you got to be a little excited. Whoa. <laughs> Only 50 <laughs> more days. We tried to come up with a way to get a ton of other resources, such as bones, over to our resort. I was thinking small raft. We call it the bone zone. The bone zone? The bone zone. <laughs> the bone zone. <laughs> and honestly, I'm just going to let the footage for the rest of this day speak for itself. We think second door and we'll have like a little, little corner here. Huh? 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 Well, why? Why not? Yeah, but no, 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 no. That's not the question. <laughs> why? Think about it. Like you can put like a a little chair here. Wait, wait, wait. Let, let me let me flesh out the area a little bit more. Hear me out. Hear me out. Huh? Just... <laughs> we have wife standing in the corner. Oh shit. What? Our wife's facing the wrong way. I mean, someone say she's facing the right way. Mm, oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you're right, but like, it looks like a closet, like, and it just opens up it into a bed. Uh, your closet of shame, that's what that is. <laughs> <laughs> no, it would be, it would be a closet of shame if you had the wife and then just little Timmy standing right next little to her. Timmy just... watching. <laughs> oh, God. What the fuck, man? Like <laughs> you made a bench. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Love <laughs> me. I'm glad we can share this moment. <laughs> Nice view, huh? Okay, oh, wonderful. What's the definition of down bad? Like, oh man. Oh man. <laughs> Ooh, okay, I gotta leave. <laughs> <laughs> the morning of day 151, I asked Toast what he worked this week so that we could sort out some time to play. Oh, I have a dentist appointment today too. Almost right about that. Ooh, time's that up. Oh shit, it's at 12. I gotta go. Alright. Alright. I'm just gonna skirt out of here. See you, man. Later. <laughs> and while I was sad that Toast was gone, sometimes opportunities present themselves that are both timely and unique for you to be alone. I mean, the, uh, the, the, I spent the day building walls. Yeah, that's what I did the rest of day 151, definitely. Yeah, that, I built walls on the second floor. Day 152, Toast was back and we were constructing the roof. There was also a bit of construction going on in the room we don't talk about. We then rode on back to shore and spent the night logging. The morning of day 153, I have no idea how I got covered in blood. I then got launched here, but thankfully I do not skip leg day, so no fall damage. Toast and I then spent the rest of the day. Actually, you already know the answer to this. We logged the rest of the day. That's it. Yeah. Day 154. We just needed a few more logs that Toast was bringing over to fully fill up the log cart. And then he claims that it just disappeared. Vanished into thin air. What? My log cart? Where'd it go? What log cart? I had a log cart that was full of logs. And it just phased out of existence. I'm not seeing it in a log cart, bro. Uh, it, it was there, it's gone now, but it was there, I promise. So, you're telling me a log card just faded out of existence, just, just gone? Yeah, it literally just faded out of existence. <laughs> Later in the day, Toast tried to burn the body of a cannibal that attacked us on the log boat, and well, this happened. Huh. Uh... uh <laughs> toast? <laughs> what was... That? Toast? I think I found out a good way to, uh fly the boat. <laughs> I saw that. <laughs> Holy shit. That boat got launched. 
At the end of the day, I also realized that Toast might need to find better words to describe some actions. Nah, I'll take oh, a piece of meat. You want to gobble my meat? Can we find better terms? Uh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Days 155 through 157 were spent designing the interior of the resort, doing the best we could to make it feel like home. Day 155, we added a living room, some railings, a car in the center, with Toast working a bit on the room we don't talk about at the end of the day. Day 156, we worked a bit more on our own personal spaces, with my room looking nice and sexy, I think, by the end of the day. Don't judge us for how little we got done, we're very uncreative and this design process took longer than we'd like to admit. With day 157 being spent constructing as many blueprints as we could with our log boat, then flying back to the main base, resupplying, and heading to bed. Day 158, Toast and I begin construction on the Bone Zone, a large raft designed to carry sticks, rocks, and of course bones over to our resort. Later in the day, we have an interesting conversation about aerodynamics. Yeah, the, the some of the parts of the glider are, they, they're unnecessary to put it mildly. Yeah, like, do we really need the, like the, the head on the front? <laughs> no, no, we definitely do not. Like, it's listen, I've literally just to rub salt in the wound, you know. I just got a pretty decent mark in aerodynamics, and I can confirm that that head offers no. <laughs> Doesn't seem to add any benefit. I then watch the rather creepy moonrise and we work through the night collecting sticks for our raft. Day 159, the boss decides to make another appearance, but thankfully it's going away from us. And it's going away. We don't need to fuck oh. with- we don't need to mess with it! Fun. Don't do it, Toast! Oh, kind that doesn't give you armor, never mind. Fuck him. I want armor. Yeah, well- HOLY SHIT! <laughs> Oh, hello. And I, now, now, now look what you've done, Toast. Now look hey, what you've done. It wasn't me. I, I left him alone. The boss then decided to actually leave, so Toast and I spent the rest of the day collecting sticks and then rowing the bone zone over to the Thunderdome. Day 160, it was time to start collecting bones as we needed quite a few of them, so we activated our red beacons and invited the swarm in. Seven mutants and an army of cannibals came. Holy shit, what a morning it was. Toast went down somewhat early in the morning, so I had to save him pretty quick. After that fiasco, we had quite a nice little bonfire going. Until some cowmen showed up and decided to ruin our fun. Oh, oh. That's, a, that's a new one. <laughs> there goes our traps. <laughs> I didn't know they could do that. Wow. We then collected some more sticks and went to bed. The attack on day 161 did not come until later in the day. Similar to the day before, everything was going A-OK -okay until a cowman showed up. Uh, big guy coming through. Oh, he didn't care about that. Okay, get out of here. It was a long and bloody night, but by the end of it we had quite a nice pile of bodies and bones. Day 162, the attack came in the morning and well, you can probably guess who ruined the fun. Yeah, no, I've seen... It's... Bro... <laughs> After that swarm was completed, I flew on back to the resort mainly to place skulls as you could only hold four at a time and also to take a peek inside the room we don't talk about. I then began collecting sticks and we decided based on how many bones we had collected so far that... We'll probably need about two more days worth of boning. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. That didn't sound good. Ayo! <laughs> Toast and I then went to bed. The morning of day 163, pretty much the remainder of the Thunderdome got absolutely rolled by a swarm of mutants and cannibals. After we had cleaned up the swarm a bit, Toast had to go, so I was by myself for the rest of the day, and I'd like to say I did something productive, but honestly I just tried to fly back to the base and I ended up getting stranded on an island, which sucked, which meant I had to juggle my glider all the way back to shore. Day 164, we were determined to finish collecting all the bones we needed, so we fought a massive swarm in the morning, including the main boss, but we dealt with them pretty easily, 
We also had a bit of an awakening moment to what we were actually doing. I just realized this gets actually pretty fucked up what we're doing right now. What? Well, we're killing and collecting the natives for decoration. Like... <laughs> I mean, yeah. Hey, they started it, though. Like... Those, they started it. Those, and then those <laughs> effigies, like... I mean, to be fair, they didn't set up a Thunderdome. <laughs> yeah. Well, I didn't like how they mounted the guy sitting next to me on the on the flight on a spike. Like, but we came to their their land and constructed a fucking Thunderdome. <laughs> yeah, but they you know, they didn't have to try to eat us. Like, they could have. I don't it's know. It's in the name. Native They're cannibals. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's what they do. <laughs> That's just their thing. And then another big swarm at night, again dealing with them pretty easily. Day 165, I was determined to bring my glider with me on the raft for reasons that Toast could only speculate. Are you fucking your glider? No. No, I, I'm... There's a difference is that between... Why th is that why there's a face on it? <laughs> Listen. <laughs> it's been 165 days, alright? <laughs> like, we then spent the rest of the day collecting sticks and talking about the rules of war and how well we are abiding by them. Well, the G Geneva Convention was always more like guidelines. You know, it wasn't. It was like a stop sign, right? It was more of a suggestion. Exactly. Day 166, we sticked and then we started building some of the blueprints back at our resort. A pretty boring day, but I did make a good joke at the end of it. <laughs> Come here, Toast, look. It's a hot dog. Ha. <laughs> but um, ting. Day 167, we spent the entire day from sunrise to sunset, emptying out the bone zone and building our resort. Day 168, the only thing I have written down in my notes is that we went sticking. So day 168, we went sticking. Day 169 was mostly spent working on the room we don't talk about. Unfortunately, I am not allowed to show you that quite yet. But at the end of the day, we had to collect a bunch more logs, so we rode on over and started logging. The morning of day 170, we discovered a new attack that we didn't know the boss had. What's he doing? Did you shit out babies? He did just babies. shit out babies. Dude. I didn't think that they could do that. What I don't know fuck? you could shit out babies. Later in the day, Toast thought he was losing his mind because a log cart kept falling out of the sky and he claimed he could pull logs out of thin air. So I went over to witness a miracle and then gaslight him. Do you know? No, no, okay. okay. You, you see it? See what? All right. That log. You see the log. What log? Uh, you, you're fucking gaslighting me now. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about, Toast. I, I don't believe you. <laughs> watch, watch, I'll get another one. See? I got a log. <laughs> but you, you seriously can't see any of those logs. No. What the fuck? Nah, I'm fucking with you. I can see all of them. Okay, alright, alright. <laughs> Day 171, we finally finished all of the blueprints inside of the resort. We then spent the rest of the day rehearsing for a TV show. The morning of day 172, it was finally my time to shine in my very own episode of MTV Cribs. Why you upset like Cinderella teens? Used to see the things I fin inside these denim jeans. I can't associate with y'all this shit like ketamine. Been on one, been on two, been on everything. Bitch, I'm with my gang, with my squad. What the fuck you want? So be rolling gas, I can't hang, bitch, I'm fucking gone. I got people down from the jump, better know your bonds. I got people just tuning in and the love is strong. Damn. On today's episode of MTV Cribs, we will be showing off Bandit Banks' and Toast's Island Resort. Comes with a nice parking spot, two boats included for all your logging, sticking, rocking, and boning transportation needs. <laughs> That's the room we don't talk about. In here, we've got a nice living room with a 19-inch TV, really all the bells and whistles, hot dog in the corner there, your family that are, you know, no longer with you. Underneath this hallway, we've got food access, plenty of storage space for all the legs, arms, and, you know, regular food you would need. Just out this door, you have roof access, so that's very convenient. Coming now, before we head upstairs, got target practice here. Underneath these stairs, we've got an armory with three types of armor, weapons, and arrows. Everything, again, you will need to survive on this 
relatively hostile, I would say, environment, hence the cheap price. This nice balcony lined with uh, the remains of the natives is a good way to really decorate the interior space. We got Toast over here looking at his artwork, some planters, a birdhouse, a bed. Just, again, a pretty good guest bedroom. And that leads out to this place, the main balcony of the property. Just, wow, stunning, stunning views. I mean, let's be real here. Plenty of seating space, places to grow plants, just everything you really need. Let's head on around now to the main master suite, the master bedroom over here for whoever is running the house. Comes complete with a full triple screen monitor place over here for sit down have dinner with your wife your kid underneath the chandelier again remains of the natives really getting that spirit going some more artwork lights nice bed with a side table an armor rack for all your all your armor and in here we've got actually your own personal closet uh moving past that that leads out again to your private balcony that you can share and just look out I mean, there's the wake-up call. There it is right there. Kind of like the roosters in the morning. But yeah, overall, a very, very solid island resort for you and one of your friends. All right, Toast, let me join you. The rest of the day was spent trying to come up with more content ideas. We could get married. We could. We definitely could. Are you proposing? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, you're putting me on a spot like this? Oh. <laughs> How could you? Day 173 was spent working on something for the room we don't talk about. So here's the only clip from today I can show you of me terribly missing this spear throw on a deer. Day 174 is the same as day 173, working on something that I cannot show you. But we fought a worm, so content. Day 175, Toast takes what we were working on over to the resort while I scout around for a very particular roller coaster location. Day 176, I found a location and placed down the blueprints for a coaster. I then started constructing it. Toast was over working on the room we don't talk about, and some weird things were going on. Which is excellent news for you guys, because it means you're going to find out about that room a lot sooner than I was expecting to tell you. And by a lot sooner, I mean that I am telling you today on day 177. But first, we gotta go back just a little bit. On days 173 and 174, what we were doing was building a raft with rabbit cages on it and then transferring rabbits from our home base to the raft. The plan being, in the room we don't talk about, to get a massive kind of rabbit shrine going on with just tons of rabbits, fur all over the walls, heads mounted, just a, a weird, weird place to be in. Now I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I was not planning to tell you guys about this till probably like day 100, but Based on what was happening, it kind of felt appropriate. Essentially, we had gotten maybe 25, 30 rabbits in those cages, and Toast was just to take that boat over, empty the cages into that room, destroy the evidence, and come help me build the roller coaster. But it had been a day and a half, and he was claiming that the rabbit counts were growing exponentially. So I had to go over and see what the hell was going on. Dude, these are still full. <laughs> I'm telling you, man, they just keep coming. <laughs> What do you have in here? Jesus Christ! I'm telling you, they don't end. <laughs> Holy shit! Now this was pretty weird, but there was only one way to figure out what was really going on here. Just start grabbing them and strangling them, and let's see, like, literally, just how many you can get. Oh god! Oh god! Not going away. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I can't breathe. This is more horrifying than the room. <laughs> oh. oh my god. <laughs> what the fuck? I don't think it's gonna stop. It's not stopping. They're not even disappearing anymore. They're just conjuring fucking rabbits. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. 
you had a fucking rabbit! <laughs> Dude, my world is lagging so bad now! I apologize for the bad audio quality there, but I couldn't breathe. So, cut me some slack. We then spent the rest of the day trying to figure out how we want this room to look now that we know we have an unlimited supply of rabbits to decorate with. On day 178, a lot of rabbits lost their lives. We decided to go with a literal wall of heads on one portion of this wall and then a wall of rabbit fur on the other. The rest of the day was spent working on this and believe me when I say you don't need to see it. By midday on day 179, most of the decorations were done and we had amassed quite a lot of food. We're gonna be eating good tonight. <laughs> We're gonna be eating good for the rest of our fucking lives. Later in the day, Toast wanted to do his own MTV Cribs, but just for his special room. If you follow me right over here, uh, we oh. have this, this very schnazzy room to our left. We also have like our, uh, our extreme amount of food here. Uh, we'll never have to worry about that again. And, uh, if you take a look to your to your left, we have uh, um, and and if you uh, continue walking, we have uh, um, what 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 furs are these? Uh, uh rabbit. Um, and if we uh go over here, we we can have uh our <laughs> fine collection of uh, warmth and uh, all all, all of our uh all of, all of our little friends. So many pets. Yeah, what is the well, view of our pet for our pets? Like, what does that view consist a, uh, of? A, a, uh, I'm, I'm sure it's great for their mental health. Don't don't worry about it. If we come through here, <laughs> we have. Uh, in case we get hungry, you know. We, yes. I got, I, got, I got a little bit to eat, and then uh, you can just go through this door right here, and. Uh, uh, Amend for your sins, you know? After this, the game decided to get us back for the sins we have committed while we tried to take down a Virginia. I'll help you with it. Where did your glider go? Did he just? He... he did. Day 180, I was back to constructing the roller coaster with Toast joining me about halfway through the day. By the time night fell, we had most of it finished and we slept peacefully at the new FU tower. Later in the day, on day 181, we finished constructing this roller coaster. We spent the rest of the day testing out what would happen if we rammed into each other going full speed. Turns out nothing too exciting, but you know what they say, boys will be boys. Day 182, Toast and I realized that size actually does matter, so we talked about the possibility of doing a massive roller coaster from the top of the FU tower down into one of the nearby valleys. I don't think we have to, <laughs> but yeah. I think we have to. <laughs> do, do we have to? Like, okay. do we have to have to? Like, do we absolutely have to? I, I, I think this is a non-negotiable, you know? We spent the rest of the day placing down the blueprints and beginning construction. The morning of day 183, I got a pretty good idea of the scale of the coaster. With the rest of the day spent building the vast majority of it. About halfway through the day on day 184, we finished the coaster. Toast rode it first to make sure that it was safe, and then it was my turn. Holy shit. To be completely honest, it was a little underwhelming. Toast then nearly decapitated me, with the rest of the day being spent riding the roller coaster and doing relatively dumb things. Day 185, we built a zipline from the top of the FU tower down to the bottom of it because honestly, why not? We then decided how we wanted to spend at least part of our last 15 days. We wanted to do a challenge where we survived 10 days straight with red artifact mode turned on. Toast began designing a bit of a storage room while I flew back to the main base to resupply. I then spent some quality time that night with my wife. Literally all we did days 186, 187, and 188 were build and prep this storage unit that was right in the middle of I guess our battleground where we would plant the red spikes and where we would survive 10 days straight with red artifact mode engaged. But by the end of day 188 we were pretty much ready for war. The plan was to turn on red artifact mode from days 190 to 199. This made day 189 a free day. 
I decided to spend my day flying around, color coordinating all the base locations and deleting as many log carts as I could find, as the flags were getting pretty annoying to me. By the end of the day, my mission had nearly been completed, with everything looking much, much cleaner around the map. Day 190, we placed our spikes, meaning that the war had begun. The morning was actually pretty boring. It was a decently small swarm, with a lot of the cannibals fighting each other. So the majority of the rest of the day was spent trying to figure out what to do with their remains. And to be completely honest, the hardest fight of the day was trying to get Toast to sleep in his own bed, instead of with me. Go to your own bedroom. Damn, okay. Fuck, I can't lock this door! I get fucked. <laughs> no! <laughs> I don't get consent. <laughs> oh shit. I'm waiting, man. No, you're not- I can see when your thing goes to Z, alright? Alright. No, absolutely not, uh-uh. Fuck. <laughs> The morning of day 191, this Virginia literally did not care that we were killing it. After we had finished the swarm, we collected all the bodies and decided that we were going to make as many effigies as possible up until day 198, lighting them all on day 199. We spent the rest of the day dismembering whoever came and building the effigies, with Toast deciding that he wanted to headbang all night. The morning of day 192 was the first morning we actually had a pretty decently sized swarm, so after dealing with them, you know what we gotta do. During the process of making art, we also had a bit of a reflective moment. We're pretty sick, aren't we? I mean, yeah, it's probably, uh... Probably, uh, frowned upon to make, uh, human centipedes out of... Well, they're not alive, right? I mean... <laughs> no? I then spent the rest of the night sitting on my computer, watching my favorite videos, and then of course, heading to bed. The morning of day 193 was pretty normal, I would say. We dealt with a swarm, and then created artwork, and then I decided that I wanted to get married. So we headed over to the nearby church, and Toast agreed to reside over the marriage. So, uh, thanks. Do you take this woman to be your lawfully wedded wife? This is a woman? <laughs> oh shit. Uh, do you take this pile of sticks to be your lawfully wedded? Uh, stick man? Yeah, yeah, I do, I do. Yeah, alright. Uh, stick man, do you take banks to be your, uh, meat covered? Uh, <laughs> do you? <laughs> do you? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, I'll take your silence as a yes, alright. <laughs> alright, wedding's over, let's go. The morning of day 194 was a bit chaotic, the same way the mornings after most weddings are, with some of the people who didn't get an invite taking out anger on an innocent staircase. We also had some pretty normal conversations throughout the day. You killing babies? Yup. Got it. Even a bird decided to join me to take in the truly beautiful view, with Toast and I having a conversation later in the day about the beauty of art. I feel I get to express my creative side as much as I would like to, so this is really a good, like, I don't know, calming oh, yeah. exercise. Definitely. Yeah, and, uh, you know, it allows you to express the, the true beauty in life, I'd say. Yeah, like... What does it mean? Yeah. What, what does this all mean? <laughs> yeah, exactly, right? It's, it's interpretive. Can I talk to someone? Who knows? <laughs> it's interpretive art. Yeah. Everyone can see it their own way. You can see it as what it is, which is... Well, you know, it's... A war crime? Yes, but like... Or you can choose to see it as something different. You can choose to see it as... A pile of meat? Day 195, the only interesting thing that really happened was we fought the boss in the morning, but after we had dealt with him, you already know what we did the rest of the day. The morning of day 196, one of our spikes had just straight up disappeared, so that was, you know, great. After dealing with some mutants and cannibals in the morning, we realized that we could actually make a little bit of money off of our creations. We could sell this. <laughs> the feet ball. Someone would buy it, you know. Yeah, I wouldn't doubt it. 
This is definitely someone's cup of tea right here. Yeah. I then decided that night I wanted to go around and delete the last two flags that we really didn't need. So I headed out and destroyed the flag at the suicide slide, and then the one at the hunting shelter. After our normal massacre on the morning of day 197, Toast decided to rate the effigies. Alright, um, this one kind of looks like shit. Yeah, this one. Uh, Def um, feet for hands, I don't know, I'd rate this a 5. This one looks kind of... Meh. Like, I don't know, like 2 or 3. Probably closer to a 2. This would be like a 4. Um, 5. This one would be a, like a 6. This one would be 7. This one would be 10. Because this, this one obviously had the most effort put into it, you know? I then simply said that I just had to grab a snack. These effigies really make you hungry, eh? Oh yeah, I'm, I'm looking at this feet when I've worked up an appetite, so... Also, don't try to talk with your mouth full. What you doing? Hey, we're trying to go down. I have no clue what you just said. What? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what? It's not to go down. Alright, no, never mind. Never mind. <laughs> Day 198, it was back to the grind. Toast and I realized we had become pretty effective killing machines. These guys aren't putting up much of a fight anymore. <laughs> no, not really. We spent the rest of the day finishing up all of the effigies we had built, with even a beautiful rainbow appearing above them at the end of the day. Day 199 was the final day of the 10 day challenge. In the morning we lit all of the effigies on fire, Toast accidentally got his ore back when we picked it up at the same time, and then, surprisingly, the cannibals didn't seem to want to mess with us for some reason. What? Huh? Anyone? Huh? Anyone, anyone want to try huh? me? You, gonna, you want to try it? Huh? Not so tough now, are you? Huh? <laughs> yeah, you remember How your friend Bob? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you remember your friend Bob that you used to hunt with? Huh? Yeah, look at it. Come on. Hey, yeah. Yeah, you. Come on. You want some? Let's go. go. That's right. Anything? Got anything to say? No? Surprised you have these no? haven't burned. We spent the rest of the day killing the cannibals with weapons we had barely used, such as the pistol, the crossbow, the chainsaw, and symbolically killing the last dude with the plane axe. Later in the day, we realized that one of our rafts were stuck, so we decided to remove it with a bit of a bang. We then flew back to the OG base to sleep for the last time in this playthrough. Finally, we have arrived at day 200. Today we're going to take a bit of a trip down memory lane and go over everything we've done in the last 200 days. This of course starts at the main base with our wall of heads, a beautiful balcony, our sleeping arrangements, the living room, and our storage room. From here we can hop on the zipline and head to the cottage. Not too much going on at the cottage besides the FU gazebo which is overlooking the town we saved. After this we climb the FU tower stopping of course to look at the first coaster we made. From here we head to the resort, our most detailed build by far, taking a look at the lobby, the room we don't talk about, our under balcony storage, the living room, the armory, Toast's room, the balcony, my room, and of course, the Closet of Shame. We then of course have to stop at the Thunderdome as we spent quite a lot of time here. From here we head to a humble hunting shelter with a stupid alligator head inside. We then of course have to visit the suicide slide that would have killed me if not for Toast. The collision slide that was built to test a theory. The mega slide that was built just because size matters. And of course, the absolutely massive tower that this roller coaster is built on top of. Toast and I then spend the entire night on top of the massive FU tower, watching the sunrise on day 201, meaning that I have now officially survived 200 days in the forest hard survival. Thank you guys very much for tuning in and watching this video as well as the support on the last 100 days, it was kinda nuts. It's unfortunate timing that it happened to be during an extremely busy university semester for me, but I worked on this video 
any chance I could, and here it is. So I do hope you enjoyed it. The next 100 days I will be doing will probably be in April after I've built my new computer and my semester is over. I am planning on streaming the next 100 days, so if you want to follow my Twitch and watch the gameplay in real time, link's in the description for that. My Discord is also going to be linked down there in case you do want to join that. I'm probably going to be doing Sons of the Forest next, so I wonder if I can get Toast to do that with me. I guess that means there is a question that I need to ask him. Alrighty, Toast, I've got a question to ask you, and I think you know what it is. Uh, where did you go, Toast? Where'd the zipline go? Why, why is it lagging? Toast? What? Did you just... Where's the roller coaster? Toast? Never again. I can't do this again. I'm not doing 300 days in this game. Toast, you, can't you, go, toast. Me, you can't make you go, me toast. play more of this game. You it toast. can't be done. No, no, no. Oh, I'm God. Done. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, come on, Toast. Oh, fuck. God damn it, Toast. Dude, I was just going to ask you about the Sons of the Forest. You said you oh, wanted to play that. Board? Yeah, sure. Yeah. <laughs> okay. How many likes did our last video get? How many? Oh yeah, it got uh, like like forty thousand. So how many likes is it gonna take you to do a hundred days in Sons of the Forest with me? I don't know. Sequels don't do quite as well, so maybe maybe we do twenty five thousand likes and we'll live stream it or whatever. All right, yeah. Tw all right, so twenty five thousand likes, you'll do a hundred days with me and we'll make a video out of it and we'll live stream the whole thing, right? All right. Yeah, that sounds good. All right. Well, you heard the man. 25,000 likes, he will do 100 days in the Sons of the Forest with me. I'll be doing it either way, but if you want to see more of Toast, be sure to like the video. Also, be sure to check out his links in the description below. He's obviously a really good friend who's been helping me out quite a lot with this video, so if you could show him some love also, that would mean a lot to me. But, without further ado, it's been your boy Bandit Banks. Thank you very much for tuning in, and I will catch y'all in the next one.